this uh, session of lectures so let us continue which are the of this chemical equilibrium so which are the factors that affecting the chemical equilibrium constants that is k pure k c how this is affected by different factors so one factor is your uh, stoichiometric uh, representation of reactions so this can affect the equilibrium constant let us see how so these are the reversible is a reversible reaction with so3 and so2 and o2 so we can write the kc like this one by using the law of chemical equilibrium second if you divide the so3 by 2 so we'll get the same equations so here again coefficient is stoichiometric coefficient removed so write the kc to for this reaction now if you compare it so this is nothing but the kc1 is equal to kc whole square so here kc is depends on the stoichiometry of the balanced chemical equation so it is depending so when if you divide it becomes square so if you multiply it it becomes square root so here kc or kb for the corresponding reactions is obtained by multiplying or dividing the original reaction by a small integers like this one so here we are squaring if you if you uh, by multiply if by dividing you are uh, for this case to we are squaring so if you divide it uh, if you multiply this one so again we have to write the square root so this is the change by the small integers second is a uh, mode of representing the change so consider for the equilibrium mixture so let us take equilibrium mix equilibrium mixture that is uh, in a container so3 so2 and oxygen in one container so one container is three gases are there and these gases are under equilibrium so we can write the kc1 or kp1 anything we can write it so this is the equation of kc1 again this is the equation of kc3 so this is taking reversible reaction for reverse reaction kc3 will be different so if you compare it so kc1 is nothing but the inverse of 1 by kc3 or kp1 is inverse of kp3 you will get like this so here we can uh, again conclude that uh, kc for kc or kp for reverse reaction is equal to the inverse of the equilibrium constant for the forward reaction and second we can note that addition of two or more reversible reaction at equilibrium it will leads with new equilibrium constant for the resultant reactions like this suppose this is a equation no plus half o2 will no2 so we can write the kc1 again for no2 is reversible reaction giving us second equation half n2 o4 this is the kc2 so write the uh, uh, equilibrium constant for this reaction so this is a Uh, this reaction for this uh, kc1 for this reaction kc2 for this reaction so if you add 1 and 2 that is no plus half o2 so you will get a half n2 o4 this is the kc3 so again write the equation for this one so you will get the same like previous one kc2 into kc1 so this will uh, addition of 1 2 equilibrium will give you this type of equations so let us uh, see from this example some examples calculate the various equation constant given below so this is the equation of for k1 here the uh, equilibrium constant for this reaction is k1 and equilibrium constant for this reaction is k2 and equilibrium constant for this reaction is again k3 and and equilibrium constant for this reaction is k4 so first you write the uh, equilibrium constant for every reaction so for k1 is this much k2 will be second equation this one and third equation k3 will be this one and fourth equation k4 will be this one so from k equation 1 2 3 and 4 we can see so k1 is equal to k2 whole square so this is the you are dividing so it becomes a square here you are multiplying so here it is reversible reaction so it become 1 by k3 and here it is so3 it is reverse so it becomes your 1 by k4 is equal to 1 by square so it is equal to each other by seeing this we can write this equation in this form second question second uh, questions to understand uh, more concept let us see this question calculate the equilibrium constant for reaction that is co2 plus h2 will give you h2o plus carbon monoxide at 1395 kelvin if the equilibrium constant at uh, this temperature for the following are given here So H2 is uh, dissociated into hydrogen plus water, whose equilibrium constant is 2.1 into 10 power minus 13. And this is the 2 CO2 plus 2 CO plus oxygen, whose equilibrium constant is this much. So we can see. So 
so k1 is equal to now we solve the equation k1 will be this equation and k2 will be this equation this is the second equation and this is the first equation so here k is nothing but the by seeing this is the k equation that is co plus s2 s2 plus co so we can write for this equation as a k so now divide second by one so if you divide it you will get k2 by k1 this by this so we get this question this question nothing but the a square of k1 so if you compare it this is the square of k1 if you make it a square root it becomes k so so equation from 3 and 4 this is the equation 3 and this is equation 4 we can see k is nothing but the square root of k2 by k1 so this is the square root of k2 by k1 so now substitute this value 1.4 into power minus 12, 2.1 into 10 power minus 13, so, and you will get the answer 2.5. So this is the answer for our uh, this equation. So these questions are not very difficult; it is easy. So from this equation, we have to understand. Our third factor is temperature. So K P or K C for a reaction changes with the change of temperature. So K C K C is uh, depends on the temperature. So when temperature changes, this uh, equation also change con constant also will changes, and it can be derived from the Arrhenius equation. So this uh, Arrhenius we will study later on. This is the Arrhenius name of scientist. He has given one equation. So it is uh, the temperature dependent equation derived from this equation only. So we will say later on. So let us take one reversible reaction that is reacting conformity product. This is the equilibrium constant of forward reaction this is the equilibrium constant of backward reaction now here we have to consider one thing that this depend on temperature so we will take for one constant two temperature means kf will be different in different temperature kv will be different in two different temperature the, the variation of rate constant kf within temperature ranges t1 and t2 means kf uh, we are taking two different in two temperature t1 and t2 such that T2 should be greater than T1. Means when reaction converts in products, we have two type of constant. One is Kf1, one is Kf2, in which T2 is greater than T2. So according to Arrhenius equation, we can write uh, this reaction as like this: 2.303 log Kf2 by Kf1 Ea. This is the forward reaction activation energy by gas constant. 1 by T1 by minus 1 by T2. So this is the equation based on Arrhenius equation. So just you uh, right now you learn it we will discuss this in a uh, coming chapter so this is the base two equation we can write this in this thing similarly for the backward action we will take uh, kb for two different kb to it for two different temperature our temperature should be t2 should be greater than t1 so we can write similarly kb2 will be by kb1 ea this is the activation energy for the backward action activation means energy required to initiate the reaction is called activation energy Reaction uh, that means energy required uh, to initiate the reaction, otherwise, the reaction will be in dormant condition. The reaction will not be the reactor will not be react. So, this is the energy required to initiate reactions. This is A, this is B. If you subtract it on subtracting, we can write 2.303 log Kf2 by Kb2, Kb1 by Kf1, and this will be your Kf minus Eab by R1 by T1 minus 1 by T2, and uh, this will be your 2.303 log. So this we can write Kc2 by Kc1. So this whole is Kc2, this whole is Kc1. And this we can write delta H by R, so the remaining things will be 7. So Kc2 is nothing but the Kf2 by Kb2, Kc1 is Kf1 by Kb1. And delta H given here. And Kf by Kb is Kc1. Actually this equation is a integrated form of front of isochore equation. Isochore means volume is constant so vent of given here this equation again if you take that the differential form of this equation is written as uh, derivative log case uh, natural log kc by dt equal to delta h by rt so this we will discuss later on right now just note it down what is delta h enthalpy change of the reaction t1 t are the kelvin so effect of temperature depends on the nature of delta h and there are three cases in which we will study the delta h so we see that Kp in cases depend on temperature and then temperature depends on the delta H. So delta H we have different cases. So let us see one by one. Case number one, if delta H zero means neither heat is evolved nor absorbed, then 2.303 log K2 by K1 is equal to 
zero. This means that k two by k one is equal to one, or we can say k one is equal to k two. That is in that this reaction is a thermoneutral reaction. That is the value equilibrium constant does not vary with different whatever temperature is there. If the equilibrium uh, equilibrium constant is not changing, this means the reaction is delta H is zero. Case number two: If the delta H is positive, that is heat is absorbed during the reaction, that is endothermic. Then we can write 2.303 log K2 by K1 is uh, positive. In this cases, K2 will be greater than K1, and this reaction is endothermic reaction. So here, Kc or Kp is increases with increase in temperature. For endothermic reaction, Kp or Kc is increasing. Now, case three: If the delta H is negative, negative means reaction definitely is endo exothermic. Means heat is evolved. Then we can write 2.303 log K2 by K1 is negative. This means K2 will be less than K1. And this reactions, what happens? The equilibrium constant is decrease with increase in temperature. When we are increasing temperature, this will decrease. For endothermic increase in temperature, Kc increases, but here increase in temperature, Kc decreases. So you have to keep this thing in mind. So let us see some solve problems. So let us solve examples like example one. Uh, this is a H2S gas is giving a reversible reaction with H2 plus sulfur. Kp is given here 0.0118 atmosphere at 1065 degree centigrade and heat of dissociation of this energy also given that is 42.4 kilo calorie and we have to find the equilibrium constant at 1132 degree centigrade. Use the Venthoff equation isotherm. This is for the gases. So we can write 2.303 log Kp2 by Kp1 delta H by R 1 by T1 minus 1 by T2. So now substitute the value of delta H. R is 2. This is in Kelly. So write in Kelly. Temperature given here. So you will get Kp2 by Kp1 equal to 2.21 uh, 2.129. So Kp1 is given here 0.118. So you will get answer Kp2 0.025 atmospheric pressure. Example two. So for the reaction, natural log K versus 1 by T plot. So this is the equation given. This is natural log K 1 by T equation is going right now. We have to uh, predict whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. So here we can see. Already we have seen that if you increase the temperature, delta K is decreasing. This means that this is exothermic. If the K is increasing, this means it is endothermic. So when talk of uh, factor, this is the equation. Uh, natural log K2 by K1 equal to delta H by R 1 by T1 minus T2. So if K2 is greater than K1, so if K1 increasing and also it only increases when T1 is greater than T2. That is, with increasing temperature, with increasing temperature, K is decreasing. So K is increasing but temperature decreasing. This is clearly that that the delta H is negative. So this reaction is nothing but the exothermic reaction. So there is another factors which can depends on the equilibrium constant. That is the unit of pressure and constant. So concentration pressure also depending on the equilibrium constant. So this we have already discussed. Is still this is important. So if you take the delta N in the Kp and Kc relationships, that is already we discussed. Kp is equal to Kc RT and this is the delta N. So if delta N is equal to zero, this is the gaseous most of gases reactant. So Kp or Kc is unitless or constant, whatever the value, pressure or concentration. Similarly, if you take the delta N is not equal to zero, it can be positive or negative. Then Kc or Kp will change along with their units. So this we have already discussed in the previous topics. That is the characteristic equilibrium constant. So for this you can see uh, that video lectures. And uh, for all numericals, we have all included a problem separately. Kp. Uh, Kc, K, uh, relationship between Kp and Kc in the numerical section. So please go through that sections and revise, practice those problems.